Hello, hello, everybody. Adam here with another class. Again, you do not need to watch these videos. They are just here to help you. Um, today, we're doing 2A. And um, I'll quickly mention, as I said, with the homework, you should be doing as much as you think you need to do. And remember, turn on the subtitles below. Um, that'll be helpful if I'm explaining something that's a little bit difficult. But like I said, the home, the book is great. The homework is great. Um, if you do the homework, it'll really help you learn English. That's the most important thing. And number two, it will help you do better on the exam. Okay. So I will get some questions I know about the homework, um, but you know, you guys are at an age where, you know, you should be responsible for your learning. And like I said, this this is by far the best textbook and online homework um, I've ever seen as a teacher. I'm very impressed with this book. Um, so use it. It's a great way to actually learn English. And even if your English, you think this is easy, there's always little things that, oh, wow, you know, I you might get a wrong answer. So it's kind of like almost like if your English is high, it's a great way to do review. All right. Sorry for the introduction. Let me get started and we'll go through this. Okay. Uh, at first, I'm going to disappear so that the book looks a little bit nicer. So bye-bye face, but don't worry, my voice is still here. Okay. So these warm-up videos are not my favorite, but they are an introduction. So if you want to skip through... <laughs> feel free, but I'm going to quickly do it. So we're going to listen and say each country. Uh, we'll play another person's voice just because you must get sick of my voice a little bit. So here it is. France. France. Jordan. Jordan. Peru. Peru. Russia, Russia, Thailand, Thailand, Turkey, Turkey. Okay, so now we're going to do the first activity. All right, so it says watch the video okay and tick this thing you know tick the countries um that you see in the video and one is extra okay so we're going to play this um it's a little bit long but again you can fast forward this here we go
Okay. Now, like I mentioned, it's you don't need to watch that video. It's um it's not necessary for your English learning, but it's beautiful, right? It's Nat Geo. Uh, we'll quickly, I'll just show you the answers. All right. Um, okay. And, you know, France, Jordan, Peru, Russia, Thailand, Turkey. Uh, no Russia. Yeah, why not? Okay. Um, yeah. So <laughs> there's the answers there. Um, just beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. But like I said, it's not really necessary to study. Um, do you know the cities and their countries? All right. Well, let's try this one. A little geography quiz. Let's see how you can do. All right. So we're not going to watch it again. We'll just match them up. Okay. Uh, so we'll go one by one. And Paris is obviously France. Granada, that's a harder one. Okay. But it's in Spain. Istanbul is an easier one, right? That's Turkey. La Paz, that's a harder one, but that's Bolivia and South America. Fez uh, is C, that's Morocco, also not that famous. Uh, New York, super easy. Uh, that one's in USA. Uh, Cusco, uh, that one is in Peru. And Bangkok, also an easy one for us. In Korea, that one is Thailand. Okay, so again, not super important, not on the test, but just a nice little introduction. All right, let's get into it. Uh, first, I'm going to read it. I was quite bored with the last one, but these are what they call, you know, countries and then nationalities. Okay, um, and there's one that I really want to help you with. So let me just go through them one by one. China, Chinese, right? So I I'm going to use them in a sentence each, each one because like, you know, if you're going to speak to someone about, you know, I'm from, I'm from Korea, I'm Korean. Okay. So I want to go into that pattern. So I'm from China, I'm Chinese. I'm from Japan, I'm Japanese. I'm from Portugal, I'm Portuguese. I'm from Australia, I'm Australian. I'm from Brazil, I'm Brazilian. I'm from Peru, I'm Peruvian. I'm from Korea, I'm Korean. I'm from Mexico, I'm Mexican. I'm from the United States. I'm American. I'm from Spain. I'm Spanish. I'm from the United Ki Kingdom. I'm British. I'm from Turkey. I'm Turkish. And there's one more that's not here that, sorry to say, Korean people usually make a mistake with, and that's Germany, right? Germany. I'm from Germany. I'm German. Now, also, these are here because this is how you would describe the food or the culture, right? Chinese food, Japanese food, Portuguese culture, right? Australian kangaroo, uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, uh, Peruvian wine, Korean kimchi, uh, Mexican burrito, American, uh, I don't know, American TV, uh, Spanish food, right? British uh british football uh turkish i'm trying to think of different one turkish um it's turkish something different i don't know turkish coffee there we go yay all right so let's keep going uh they do mention here sometimes they're the same or different right brazil brazilian china chinese so usually the the stress or you can see like how the voice goes up it's in the second syllable usually in the here. But don't worry, that's not on the test. That's just for, you know, little bonus. Make sure your pronunciation is nice. And let's move on here. Right? So Canada, it's the Canadian flag. Spain, it's the Spanish flag. Jamaica, it's the Jamaican flag. And China, it's the Chinese flag. Okay, so there we go there. Um, so those, this is the country and this is the nationality. You can also think of it as the adjective, right? Because it's the Spanish flag, or as I mentioned, Spanish food. All right, let's move on here. Okay. A little listening. So here are the instructions. Okay. Uh, where in the world? Okay. It's a game. It's a TV game show. Listen to each clue then circle the correct answer. Okay, so let me make that a little bigger. And I'll just play the whole thing and we'll check the answers after. Welcome 
to Where in the World? Our topic today is countries of the world. And here is clue number one. The city of Ottawa is the capital of this country. And now, clue number two. Eh, maybe it's more fun if I pause it. Ottawa is the capital of... Oh, I have to know this one because it's Canada. All right, next one. This place is actually four countries in one country. Four countries in one country? Must be the United Kingdom. Now, can you name all four? Well, just in case, England, right? England, Ireland, Scotland, and people forget the fourth one is Wales. Okay. Here is clue number three. The nickname for people in this country is Kiwi. Kiwi. Okay, where would that be? Well, that's New Zealand. All right. Here's the next clue. This country gets the most tourists in the world almost every year. So that's a neat, that's my mo that's the most interesting question. So what do you think? It's actually France. You know, my first guess was the United States, but okay, France France wins. And now for clue number five. Machu Picchu is in this South American country. Machu Picchu is in Peru. And now. Our last clue. This country is south of China. Its most important river is the Mekong. Show me Vietnam. Okay. All right. So let me close that. I hope you got them all correct. Um, like I said, I got my, my original guess about the tourists was wrong. All right. So here we go. Next listening is here. So people from New Zealand are New Zealanders. They're also called Kiwis. Okay, look at your answers in A and name each nationality. Okay, so Canada, well, Canadian. The United Kingdom, British. Okay, New Zealand, New Zealander. Okay, France, French. Peru, Peruvian. Vietnam, Vietnamese. Okay, we went over these before, but here they are again. Okay, Alrighty, let's go to the next page. And here we have, this is like the little always conversation part. Um, so what I'll do is I'll play the conversation and then we'll look at like the, like what they're trying to show you. Here we go. Excuse me, are you in this class? Yes, I am. Are you? Yeah. Hi, my name is Haru. Hi, I'm Anna. Great to meet you. You too. So, where are you from, Haru? Japan. Cool. Which city? Tokyo. How about you? Where are you from? Bogota, Colombia. Now, I will point out one quick thing here. Like, um, in class, I like you guys to use full sentences, right? Like, where are you from? And, and students will say, Korea. Now, just to help you with your grammar, like this is how people normally talk, but just to help you with your grammar, it's better to say, you know, I'm from Japan or I'm Japanese or I'm from Korea, I'm Korean. But you can see like when you're normally having a conversation, you know, they just say, you know, instead of which city are you from? It's just which city, right? And Tokyo, how about you? And how about you is like the same question back, right? It doesn't matter what the question is, like, Oh, what are you doing this weekend? I'm meeting my friends. How about you? It's great to remember this expression. Okay. And Bogota, Colombia. So that's just, again, instead of, again, for the grammar, you know, I'm from Bogota, Colombia. Um, but it is better in class to, and I will push you when you do the speaking to practice your full sentences. Okay. But this is normally how people talk. Okay. Now, here they are right? Pretty simple stuff. Where are you from? I'm from or just Japan. Really? Which city? Tokyo or I'm from Tokyo. Really? 
Where exactly? Great expression, right? Because someone says, oh, I'm from Korea. Really? Where exactly? I'm from a small town near Tokyo. Okay, so that's being more specific. Are you from Colombia? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. So this is the yes, no question style. All right. This thing will practice in class. Okay. And so, yeah, as a hint, if anyone's watching this, I'm not 100% sure which speaking activity we will do, but something like this, where you and a partner will, you know, have a conversation back and forth, something simple. Um, yeah, just something to practice to show me you've learned it. Okay, let's look at the grammar. Okay, so today we're focusing on, uh, you know, it says grammar reference. Uh, in appendix. So complete the sentences. All right. So you've got, these are question style, right? Who is or who's with you, right? Like who's together. And then answer is Thomas or Thomas is. Now the question words are like, where are you or where are they? Again, you're asking about location. Last class or last time we were focusing on B verbs for nouns, but this time we're using B verbs for location, right? Like, where are you? Well, that's for the location. And I'm or we're, and, you know, we're is we are or they are at the beach or at a museum. So, again, these are be verbs for location. The other thing to point out are these guys here, at or in for location. Okay. Now, don't worry too much about this, right? But, you know, beach, we say at the beach. And you can say, well, why not in the beach? Well, in is usually for like, let's say a box shape or very big place. Okay. So like at beach and students will say, well, is it at school or in school? Well, usually we say let's easy way schools are big. So we would say at school, right? Cause you can be outside at school or in the classroom. All right. Um, at work in my office. Right. So it's kind of that feeling of in is for like really big place, like in Canada, in Korea, in Changwon. Also for like a specific place, like a beach or a school, we usually say at school, okay? Uh, at work, at the park. But when it gets a little smaller, now we're back to in, right? In my classroom, um, in my room, in my dormitory, things like that, okay? So... I know it can be a little tricky, but like city is big. So it's in London at her hotel. Hotel's a bit specific. So that's why. All right. So here we go. Let's do this one first. Actually, no, let me change my mind. I want to do this one first because these ones are usually a little bit more straightforward. Now I should have left this open for a second longer. So pause the video here take a screenshot, whatever. And now I'm going to show you the answers, but you had a chance to pause. Okay. So pause the video, try to do it. Okay. Here we go. So we'll go one by one. So you've got, you know, people over here, right. And sadly it's going to disappear. I will make it a little smaller, but I know a lot of you watch this. Well, sorry, not many people watch it, but for those who do watch it, they watch it on their phone. Okay. Now who is from a uh, robot, right? And we'll go through it. And then, sorry, Hisham is, okay? Where is robot, right? It's in Monaco. Where is Hisham now? He's on vacation, okay? Now, on vacation means other place. And you're like, oh my God, teacher, why on vacation? I'm sorry, we just say it, right? Like when you're going to another country on vacation, in country. Okay. Next one. Emma from, well, where is Emma from? And she's from Berlin, Germany. Next. Who's, oh my God, I hit the button. Wrong button. <laughs> Let's do this. Sorry about that. So who's in the US now? Tina is. Okay. Again, Tina is. Who is? Uh, next one. Where exactly is Tim? Right. He's at work right? In New York City. Next one. Again, so this was the example I mentioned before, right? Like at work in the city or in the country, big place. Where are May and June? 
there at May's house. Now, if you said in May's house, it's fine. But, you know, remember, they could be outside in the garden. That's why we usually use at. But don't worry, in is okay. And who's on vacation now? Emma and Hisham are. Okay. So let me close that. And that's it for this part here. And we're going to go back and do the activity here. Okay. A little more practice. Again, if you're watching this on your phone, maybe a little uh, pause the video because I'm going to show you the answers now. Okay, here we go. So, Sarah, hi, it's Noor, right? All right. Hi, Noor. I, or sorry, that's not I, that's one. Excuse me. Hi, Noor. All right. Where are you? Okay. I'm... UK. So the UK is a big place. So in the UK right now, I'm London, big place in London. Oh, where exactly? I'm, okay, Buckingham Palace is a smaller place, but it's still like, you know, school. So at Buckingham Palace. Oh, and I'm here with a friend. Really? Who's with you? Right? Irina from our English class, she lives big place. So she lives in London now. That's great. Say hi for me. Okay. So there are the answers. And there are the, again, these guys are called at and in the prepositions in at, and the other one today is on vacation. Okay. So let me close that and go to the next page. And here we go. Well, this lesson's going to be a little bit short. Okay. Um, again, this would be fun to play. Well, not fun. And I don't know if we can, but it's, it's a game you can play. How about this? You can play with your friends. All right. Um, not all of your English study has to be done in class. All right. And, but I like this kind of stuff. If we had a smaller class and more time, you know, you, you roll the dice and you practice like, oh, you know, uh, what is the capital city of Brazil? Right. And you say, oh, the you know, you practice your grammar. The capital city of Brazil is, I don't know if everybody knows, drum roll, please. I'm pretty sure it's Brasilia. Okay. Um, not Sao Paulo. Okay. So yeah. And, but again, I know probably nobody's going to do that, but anyway, it's, I don't know. I just wish more people used or used games to study English rather than just you know, getting grammar study or, you know, anyway, you guys know my style. I hate the, uh, uh, I hate just following books and grammar and, and stuff like that. If you make it interesting, um, it's much better. So here I am again, just so you know, this is the face that matches the voice. I doubt anybody's watching to this point. Um, you know what, if you are still watching and these videos do help you, even if it's one person, it absolutely makes my day. All right. You say, oh, thank you, teacher. Or, And you don't have to lie. I don't want any lying. But if you're watching at this point um, and it's helping you, it gives me energy. It really does. Because, you know, I don't have to do this. I just want to. And even if there's one of my hundred students that benefits from this and they're like, wow, that actually helped. Great. That uh, I'm going to do it anyway, but it does give me a little extra energy um, to to do it more often. Or I know I shouldn't say that. I'm going to do it all the time, but it just feels good. And you know what? Saying thank you to people actually makes you feel better. Okay. Like they've done research. And when you say thank you, obviously the person you say thank you to feels good right? Like, oh, they appreciate my effort, right? But also they've done research. People who say thank you, they are actually happier people. All right. So something to think about, you know, I'm just a stupid English teacher, but just happy to give you my old guy advice because I'm old and I've read things. And if I can, you know, it's always the hope that old people can help younger people become wiser earlier. And I'm not saying I'm wise, 
but you know, I'm pretty happy and I hope all of you are happy. Okay. I'm going to stop talking. Bye-bye and see you next time.